In this video, we're going to start to apply the log linearization techniques we learned in the last video to an actual uh, behavioral equation to derive its log linearized form. So in this video, we'll deal with the labor supply equation. So we have uh, WT, which is wage, is equal to CT, consumption, minus 1 over LT, or uh, log uh, labor hours. Uh, so here we have the labor supply equation. And just simplifying it with respect to CT, we can get this form here. And what eventually we want to get is this form here. This is our log linearized. Okay, this is our log linear, linearized uh, labor supply equation. So we want to eventually get to that solution. So we'll apply our log linearization techniques. So first technique to uh, apply is just the basic conclusion. So we apply, okay, so if you remember the rule, um, ZT tilde is equal to Z bar E, ZT tilde. So we can apply that to our variables here. So we're going to use this. So starting from this, say this is 1. Okay, starting from 1, we get C bar, E C T tilde, is equal to uh, W bar, E W T tilde, times 1 minus L bar, E L T tilde. Okay, not so bad. Then simplifying it, we can distribute, okay, we can distribute uh, W E, uh, that form there. So we get C bar E C T tilde is equal to W bar E W T tilde uh, minus uh, W bar L bar E. So note, they have the same base. So we can just add it okay, by our rules earlier. So we can get that form there. So we have that... Uh, conclusion so far, then what we can do is we can further simplify this form. So if you recall, okay, according to ULIG 1999, right, we can simplify a form, say, um, Z bar E Z T tilde, that's just equal to um, 1, it's approximately equal to 1 plus Z T tilde times uh uh, that form, uh, times z bar, okay, so we have that there, so we can apply that rule, so for example here, okay, we can apply that same rule, so that's c bar, okay, 1 plus c t tilde, okay, that's equal to w bar times 1 plus w t tilde minus w bar l bar, then similar rule, that's 1 plus w t tilde, plus LT tilde. Same rule as what we discussed in the last video. Then, if you recall, recall, at a stationary state, or at the steady state, stationary, or steady state, okay, the labor supply equation is essentially, okay, W bar equal to C bar over 1 minus L bar, which is equal to C bar equal to uh, W bar times 1 minus L bar. Okay, so let's bear that in mind. Um, if we just distribute the steady state values, we can get C bar plus C bar C T tilde equal to W bar plus W bar W T tilde minus W bar L bar minus W bar L bar W T tilde minus W bar L bar L T tilde. Okay, now notice this identity here, okay, you can see it spread around, okay, in this equation here. Okay, so notice this will reduce to, if you simplify it further, this is C bar is equal to W bar minus W bar L bar. So you can see C bar on the left-hand side, that's this one. You can also see a lone W bar here, and you can see a lone minus WL bar there. So all of these uh, from the left-hand side and the right-hand side is equal, so you can opt to cancel them out. And you're going to be left with C bar, CT tilde, is equal to W bar 
wt tilde minus w bar l bar wt tilde minus w bar l bar lt tilde. Then all that's left for us to get our log linearized uh, labor supply equation is to rearrange. So c bar ct tilde. We can rearrange these two here into the form. So notice both of them have w bar and wt tilde. So we can isolate that also w bar. Okay, then wt tilde. Then the first uh, form here, this one, okay, it's uh, apart from w bar and wt has nothing. So that's one minus this also has an l bar. So we get l bar, okay, minus w bar, l bar, lt tilde. And that's how we derive our labor supply equation in its log linearized form. And that's an example of how we do log linearization in an RBC model.